Hey you guys, welcome to another um, added detail video. Um, if I seem a little derpy this video, it's because I'm tired and um, this week has been a very brain deadish kind of week for me. Um, it's really hard for me to get thoughts process processing and stuff like that, so that is why I may be a little derped. Um, that and it was kind of stressful with this doll this week. Um, I haven't been feeling good, so then it kind of pushed me back on this doll. And then I've tried. I was trying to finish it tonight. And anyway, here's Darling Charming, and I am so happy I did her because she looks so good. I'm so happy. So, um, we'll start with her crown. I basically dry brushed the crown, um, with the black, and then, um, painted with a light pink on the, uh, gems, and then put a pearl glaze, not a glaze, but a pearl coat over it. Um, and I didn't want it, the pearl to be, like, too white and make it almost look like it was a pearl gem. So I actually mixed in a very, very tiny bit of the pink into the pearl. So that way the pearl had a little bit of pink pigment. So, yeah. And then the feather, I just kind of painted white. And then I dry brushed a little bit of blue on it to give a little more color. Um, on the camera it just seems white. I don't think you can see the blue very much. Yeah. And then uh, I just did the bow that's on here, uh, pink, with, um, again, a, a pearl top coat. And then um, painted this silver, and then I did the darker silver for the pin that's going in the heart. And then the wings, I just did white with the pearl top coat. <laughs> Now, I love this chest piece. Look at this, and uh, let me fix my camera. Hopefully this doesn't wonk a little bit, okay. So look at this chest piece. It's a little, let's see if I can get it. Awesome, I love it. Um, so basically what I did, was I dry brushed the thing first in black and then I painted the shoulder pads or the shoulder things with the dark silver right here uh, regular silver, dark silver, regular silver then I dry brushed a regular silver on top of the front part of the like all of this then of course I did the, chan the gem detailing which I did on everything um, which was like the same on the crown, I did the same thing here, and the same on the belt and the shoes. Same on this side, but the thing I did with this and a little bit of exorcism, um, I actually dry brushed a lot of the blue color that is in her shirt right here, like this color right here. Um, even though it's a lot darker because it is just dry brushed. Um, it makes the armor look, like, have a bluish tint to it, like it was blue at one point, but because it's old, um, a lot of the blue coloring is, like, gone and faded, or it's dark because of dirt and stuff like that. It, it just gives it an aged looked look, and it brings in the blue, which is what I wanted. So... And then, like, I did the same thing for, like, her belt right here. It has that same blue, um, dry brushing. And then I used the, um, dark, uh, silver for the trim around it. And then, um, same thing. I br dry brushed this front piece right here, the jewelry part, um, with the silver. And then I did the jewel detailing. Yeah, come on. Focus camera. 
So what I did here, um, very simple. I dry brushed it just like I did everything else. Um, I did the dark silver for the trim of the, of the cuff. And then I did the dry brushing of the blue on the actual cuff. Um, antiqued this. And then I did the... I actually added the gel uh, gem detailing onto her ring right there. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's actually supposed to be a jewel or not. I just made it so because I wanted one there. So. Now, um, the most annoying part of this paint. These shoes. I love the way the shoes came out. They came out really, really nice. And really, really pretty. Um, but I will tell you, it was very aggravating trying to do these ruffles. Um, at first I tried to dry brush them with the blue. Or no, not dry brush, antique with the blue. And it really wasn't working. Um, it basically just stained the white and made it, made the white like a blue color. So what I ended up doing was just painting the ruffles blue on top of the art because I painted them white first and um so I just painted them blue and then I just dry brushed the white on top of it but um it at least turned out a little bit like you can't really tell too much on camera again my lights are still a little weird um I got new lights for in here so or I say that like I have actual lights but I mean like the overhead light on the, on the ceiling and then I did the gem detailing on her shoe. And then, like, the actual heel insole is actually the darker silver, along with the strap that goes up here like this. And then around her ankle is all done in that darker silver. And then this is done in the regular silver with the gem detailing. So, I mean, I love the way these shoes look. And then I did that blue dry brushing on it just like I did on the rest of her armor and that's how I treated everything that was on this doll I treated it as if it was okay for a whole second I thought her shoes were on the wrong feet I treated everything as if it was a piece of like a suit of armor um, that she was wearing um, instead of just accessories and stuff like that um, just because I think that's probably closer to what she would wear even though she is a girly, like a really kind of girly personality, I think um, she really would wear like armor all the time and stuff like that. So that's pretty much her. I did do her purse as well. And um, as always, the before and afters are going to be at the end. So you'll see everything, what it looked like before. And here's her purse. And I did the whole thing, like this whole box, like trim around the purse in a, um, the darker silver. Um, in the regular silver, I did the strap, the gem, like the jewelry design right up here, and the buckle part in the back. And then, of course, the gem design. I don't know how well you can see it, but I actually did three tiny gems at the top really really tiny so it, it just matches really well and then I did the of course dry brushing so it just matches this outfit a lot so it, like come on hold your purse hold it hold it there we go so Here's a quick look at the entire doll. The shoes, the purse, the belt, the um, cowl, and then her crown. Um, I almost wish she came with earrings, but I, it makes sense that she doesn't have earrings. But yeah, that, this was the Darling Charming added detail video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm like not in the camera.
there we go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's not actually going to be one next week. Um, because I think I decided to show you guys the stuff that I use. Um, but what I would like for you guys to do is tell me who you would like to see next. Um, for me to do an added detail video for. Um, I'm pretty much open to anybody. It kind of depends. Obviously, Haunted is out for me. Um, I think I've said that in a couple videos. I like the Haunted line the way it is. Um, but yeah, just give me suggestions. Like, I mean, there's some Gigi's. There's some uh, Rebecca's that I would love to do. Um, there's a couple Venuses I could probably do. I, I even I could even do frightmares, you guys. Um, if you guys want to see frightmares, I could definitely do frightmares. But yeah, leave your suggestions below. And here is the before and afters.